Mark here. In this video, I'm going to be showing my um, Pink Floyd vinyl collection. So these are all my records that I come across. Unfortunately, uh, most of them are going to be remastered. I wasn't able to pick up the original versions or the original um, copies. And I, since I leave them in the shrink wrap and I leave the hype sticker on it, you're going to see the hype sticker in a lot of these things. So anyway, we're going to start out with Pipers at the Gates of Dawn, remastered on 180 gram vinyl. And that's on Columbia Records. Again, nice thick 180 gram Pipers. Next up, Susser Full of Secrets. Again, remastered. In front, back. Again, 180 gram vinyl. Columbia Records. This already came in anti static inner sleeve, so I don't bother putting them into mine. I just stick it in the outer sleeve. All right, next up, uh, music from the film More, remastered again. Again, on 180 gram vinyl. So there's the front, the back. Music from the film More. And there's the record again in Columbia. And next up, Umaguma, 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 however you pronounce it. Not my favorite of theirs. And even though it's not my favorite, I do have two copies. This is a gatefold. got two records here and of course I put them in the wrong way so the records might slide out on me and there's the back the front and the gatefold and these are on harvest so there's the two records and this is not a remastered neither of these are remastered Two of those. This one, as you can see, is in better shape. This one has some ring wear. I'll put those over here. Next up, we have Adam Hart Mother. Again, remastered. There's the front and the back. record this does not feel like it's on 180 gram record or on 180 gram vinyl right but it is it is certainly is that's what it says there it just didn't feel like it metal is up next this is not remastered it's gatefold front back Harvest. So that is metal. Metal. Obscured by clouds is next. And this one was a single disc, but so anyway. This is not a remastered copy, so this is Obscured by Clouds. That's the front. There's the back, front, back. And I bought another record. So one of these, actually, they're both on Harvest. Uh, one of these belongs with this, and then I don't know how. I think somebody stuck two records in another um, cover. So I had the original of uh, that record, whatever the record that was, and then this was stuck in there too so I guess either their um, cover fell apart or something so I just stick both of these in here with this keep them together so I've got two records and one sleeves cover all right dark side of the moon is up next let me see how many copies of that I have one two three okay 
So I have, let me see if these two are different. I don't know. This one, I didn't pull it out. But anyway, of course, I stuck these in the wrong way, which means that the records want to slide out. So anyway, front, gatefold, back, and harvest again. Side two. Is this supposed to be a single disc or double disc? I don't know. But anyway, there's two discs here on harvest. Okay, so that's that dark side of the moon. I'm going to pop up the other one too, because now I am curious. This one I didn't put in a gatefold cover. Oh, okay. I don't know why there's two discs in that. I always and we got a poster here. I'm not gonna open it up because I'm sure it'll fall apart on me if I did. And they always stick a bunch of goodies in here. And there's another poster, so I got two posters. One has the pyramids on it. And one has the band on it. So let me put that back. Next up is uh, the remaster. Let me see if this one came with posters. No posters there. Yep, posters. Probably the same posters, I'm sure. Yeah, it looks like the same things. Even though these feel like a lot heavier grade paper than the other ones. And is there something else in there? Oh, there is. Okay. Yeah, so I know a lot of these. You know, I know I also have Wish You Were Here, and you know, that came with the same stuff that, well, I'll get to that in a second. Let me just put all this back. Do a good job of duplicating the goodies you got with the original. And if I were to hang either of them on the wall, I'd hang, I'd go with this one, not the original. Okay, so then I've got two copies, um, one older pressing, and one. But because, let me see if I can grab it. The remaster pipe sticker is on this. It's not on one of these, which means I have to, I think this one was the older pressing and this one is the newer pressing. Anyway, there's front and the back and like I said they do a good job of no well, maybe this is so that feels like a heavier vinyl which means that would be the newer one 
Okay, so this is the older one. I mean, there really is not much of a difference. I think the label, I think the older one, you can see over here, kind of has like a burn mark in the photo. And it actually shows a picture here, whereas the burn mark in this one just looks like the building. So this looks like it's going through, I don't know how to describe it accurately, but uh, there is a slight difference. I guess this picture there looks like closer up than this one too. This is, again is the, the older version. And so there, and I can tell that this is the older version because it's not on 180 gram vinyl. But there's the two records. Well, there is slight difference. Oh, and I was going to show uh, the crap that came with it too. So this is the the reissue. And there's the postcard. I guess that's all it came with. Okay. postcard yeah, I'm just gonna open up the original one I usually don't kind of leave them in the bags and pull the records out and not mess with the stuff inside I'm just gonna open this one up to see if that came with anything other than uh, uh, just the postcard I think the postcards different too. I don't remember it having these ridges around here. I'll put the sleeve and her sleeve back in. I'll put the postcard back in. And put this back with the record. Alright. Animals up next. this I don't know if this was a remastered copy I got cuz it's not on 180 gram vinyl it's obviously a reissue because the original one didn't come with a barcode in 1977 those things didn't exist so there's the gatefold sometimes what I'll do is I'll stick the hype sticker in here if it did and I pulled it out to put it in the gatefold cover I don't see a hype sticker so anyway there's the record. So this is a reissue. I just don't think it's a remastered version. And then I have the 2018 uh, remix. Oh, this is my sealed copy. Well, anyway. Where did I put? My, I don't know where I put Because I got two of them. I got one that I kept open. Oh. Okay. So anyway, here's the open one. Let me put that one away. So it came with... There's my hype sticker. It came with a DVD, a Blu-ray, and a CD. And then... if I can a booklet and then a record I'm not gonna this is gonna be too much of a mess if I try playing around with that so anyway yeah uh, LP CD blu-ray and a DVD but anyway this is pretty good I like this nice very nice wrap back in there with the thing. So anyway, let's see if I can squeeze this back in here if this is going to have to be something I do after I turn the camera off. And of course, now the record wants to come out. There we go. We got it back in. And so anyway, yep. 2018 Remix. A couple of those. Next up, The Wall. So here is one of my older copies, which, of course, the records are in the wrong way again. 
and there's that and then this little thing here that just tells you it's the wall instead of being like that there's your gatefold and the two discs and then the remaster you can see the difference that one doesn't have the wall printed on it Pink Floyd the wall so there's an obvious difference on this one. And it's still in the shrink wrap. So, I mean, I took the records out, but I left the shrink wrap on. So, I figured what's the point in doing that? Oh, and then, of course, this was the replacement for this, which I showed in Vinyl Mistake. And if you saw that video, you remember that issue. So that's why I got this replacement. It goes like this. Next we have the final cut. Again, remaster. And I like this album, even though a lot of people poo-poo it. Oh, that sucks. That's just a bunch of stuff that Rogers put together that didn't go into the wall and all this other stuff, but I actually like it. Um, yeah, so anyway, there's the hype sticker. There's the back and again this is on 180 gram vinyl next up a momentary lapse of reason remixed and updated to lp vinyl and it's 180 grams for sure momentary lapse of reason Remixed and updated. I paid $37.59 at Hub City Vinyl for that one. And there's your two records. And I'm going to make sure that I put them back in the right way so I don't have them falling out on me. Momentary lapse of reason. Next up, Division Bell. Remastered, of course. And these are in here the wrong way again. So there's the front and the back. And this is, I believe, a gatefold, but I didn't take it out of the shrink wrap. So, I mean, I know some people, and I've done it in the past too, is. You know, if it's a gatefold or something like that, you can peel, slowly peel the sticker off without um, destroying the, the hype sticker, and then you'll put it on the gatefold sleeve, but I just leave it in here. I, I don't think there's anything in the gatefold that's really just so special that I have to see it. Uh, anyway, there's the two discs. Endless River. Mm -hmm. the hell? Okay. All right. So again, gatefold, but I'm just leaving it in there. Two, uh, two LP set includes heavyweight gatefold sleeve, full color inner bags. A uh, 16 page booklet with unseen photographs from the 1993 sessions. I should be able to get to those. There's your 16 page booklet. Uh, by far not my favorite of their albums. And then, oh, this is just a one of the sleeves, the nice, really glossy thing. Put the book back into, put it in this way so when it comes out, it doesn't open up. Let's see, that's just an inner sleeve. All right, well, that's enough of that. That's the Endless River. It would 
be my least favorite of their albums. I think it's pretty boring, to be honest with you. All right. And the two discs. Well, next is not really a Pink Floyd. It's something that I kind of regretted buying because it really is not... I don't think I've listened to the whole thing because it's Roger Waters talking. Uh, Dark Side of the Moon Redux, new reimagined version by Roger Waters. Uh, I, I buy a record to listen to music. Don't talk with music going in the background. I mean, I like Roger Waters' music, but I, I don't want to hear him rant. or there's, That's not what I buy a record for. I mean, you know, if that I know is what is on the record, but you know, they say Dark Side of the Moon reimagined, I'm assuming kind of like a redux or, or something like that, not not this. Anyway, and like I said, I haven't listened to the whole thing, so maybe just what I could tolerate was the crap, and then everything after that I'm just completely missing out on because I'm stubborn and just don't... Anyway, I, I could go on, but I'm not going to. So anyway, that's that. I think I just got a record. I heard a noise at the door. All right, okay, so Pink Floyd Relics. And so there's the front. And there's the back. Okay, so that's on Harvest. Again, next up, I'll do, let's see, I'll do my 7-inch. So, this is Columbia Records, um, Another Brick in the Wall Part 2 on one side, and one of my turns on the other. So, that's on Columbia. And then, uh, let's see, Wish You Were Here on one side. This is on Capitol, and Have a Cigar on the other. I don't need to pull them out because there's nothing extremely exciting about them. All right, and last up is my picture disc of music from the film Moore. So anyway, that's that was in my um, picture disc uh, vinyl collection that I did video. So anyway, that's it for my Pink Floyd vinyl collection. Might have been annoying to anybody. Anyway, I'll hear it. Uh, so anyway, that's my Pink Floyd vinyl collection. Um, if you enjoyed it, um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if so, comment, like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.